And how many times now, Steve, how many World Championships have you actually ridden in? Uh, I've been on the British <laughs> team, I think, 16 years now. My first year was 93. I missed one or two for in through injury, but um, yeah, I've done quite a few, Warner. Not too bad. And I hate to bring it up, mate, but you've been second four times. You I can mean, bring whatever you want, up, Warner. You know, you're getting older, 35 years old. Do you feel like the pressure of time running out for you to get this championship, world championship? I think everybody else does more than me, really. <laughs> I'm still enjoying riding my bike and uh, I love racing my bike. I love hearing the beeps and crossing the line and uh, actually that race run, I, I, I live for that. So I'll be in it for as long as I can, mate. Sheffield Steel, mate, I'll be going <laughs> deep. <laughs> well, Steve, you know, we look forward to seeing you on Sunday and finally, I think the whole world hopes it might go your way, dude. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? A lot of people are uh, supporting me, so thanks to everybody for that. Uh, I always get great support at World Championships, and everybody thinks every year it's going to be my year, but I know. I'll try and do my best for everyone. Weight of the world on your shoulders, bud. I don't feel like that. I'm just riding my bike and having fun. Right on, mate. Cool. Cheers. Thanks, Steve. Three more to go. <laughs> She's Three to go. Podium. So, Kathy Pruitt looking like she might get a medal here this afternoon. So, Emmeline Rago, well, this girl has been on fire and she is probably, I would say, the most dynamic of the women on the bike. Yeah, she is. You know what I mean? She, she lets it loose under her yeah. through this rock. Look how fast she is. Now, this looks good from Rago. It look, looks like she tucks, tucked Emily in her in shirt. Between. Look at that. That's quick. Yeah, she's fast. She's been wow. fast all Whoa, season. Nice. She has had, unbelievably, five second places this year. I know. And today, of all the days to take a win, Whoa. And Rago, look at her on the Shit. pedals across that bridge there. Well, Rago is nailing this this afternoon. She, she, ha she has a little handmade wire going down to his shock and a tie rip on her uh, bar so yeah. she can pull it also right she after she the table. She also got to... a lockout for that yeah. bottom section. But just like a homemade thing with a zip tie, so it's pretty cool to oh, see. Oh, is it? Yeah. Good on her. She broke her ankle a couple of rounds yep. back as well. Oh, she's looking really good. A fracture of the ankle, but it hasn't slowed down, man. And you know what? Yeah. She's up nearly Dream. four seconds. The girl is on fire. Come on, girl. The diminutive French rider. Oh, oh. my God, she's taking no chances here this afternoon. <laughs> this taking no so prisoners cool. here this afternoon. Taking every chance, I should have said. She is going for it. This is this is awesome. Damn. So <laughs> this is this is really cool to watch. Yeah, this is it, man. Yeah, and you wait. She won't be uh, sitting down on her the last straight, I guarantee it. With this, she's riding with a lot of heart this afternoon. Yeah. The pain will not get to her. She's made a couple of big airy moments, but nothing has cost yeah. her any time. Riding for the suspension center. Four seconds, guys. She's extended. She's extended triple it, triple four point one two up. Get wow. That was smooth. So this. Surely she's going to set the fastest time. She's carrying a lot more speed. She almost overjumped that tabletop there. And Rago is up, out uh, of the pedal. She's just got it. She's got 30 Go seconds of pain between her and a medal this afternoon. She's guaranteed a medal at this rate. Come on, Emily, stand up. The head's going. She's in agony. Her legs are full of lactate acid, and she's sprinting for this big double. Come on, girl. She timed the sprint perfectly to get yeah. over that. Come on. Go for it. She's going to do it. She has destroyed them. Woo! It's huge. Five seconds nearly for Emily Rago into the hot seat. Well, Johnny A and Mosley, the two girls left, really got their work out from here this afternoon. That was now. a clean run, that was. And here she is, Tracy Mosley, winner here 12 months ago for the World Cup, riding for Trek World Racing. Pressure seems to have got to her so far this season. But um, nope. she is more than capable about taking the win out. Yeah. She's not using any of the fenders and stuff, huh? Let's keep it simple. Just, I wouldn't uh, want all that stuff on my nah. bike. She, I think just some, some different, different lights, there. light stuff. Yeah, different lines. Didn't look as quick to me as Rago down there. But the time will tell us. Rago was loose. Rago, man, <laughs> she let that hang out. That was awesome. That was a world run. That's how these championships should be. That written, was a good run, yeah. We're going to see, I think, even more desperate measures by some of the men this afternoon. Hannah and Hill on home soil will go apeshit. Yeah. 
Don't forget how strong Tracy is on that last pedaling bit. Well, though. Exactly, you're right, Buzz. Same as Sabrina, I think. I like the way that Rago sat down and then before that big double, she just gave it everything to make sure yeah. she got over that finish line double. Sensible, uh, clever riding from Emmeline. I'm so, getting nervous now. Yeah, it's all going, it. It's the World Championships. <laughs> You're watching them live and exclusive on Freecaster TV. So, on track, we have Tracy Mosley, winner of round one of this year's World Cup. And, you know, she's fair to say she's pretty much gone to pieces after that. Pressure seems to have played a big part, looming down on Mosley. She's three back. Oh, so, she's, lot. yeah, it's a lot. Wow. She'll be lucky to make that up on the bottom as well because Rago, to me, looked fast. Yeah, she did. She's little, but she's powerful. She is, yeah, she's really strong. So, it's looking like it's all going to be down to Sabrina Jeanier, the two-time world champion, the last girl on the mountain. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? I think she's <laughs> OK, but the camera <laughs> <There> isn't. <laughs> Lot of support on the yeah, mountain for cool. Tracy Mosley. It's all about the Commonwealth down here in Australia. So Mosley then, with it all to do, coming down this final section. Can she make up the time? Ooh. She hasn't she lost much more, she's four back. See, now that see. is a tall order even for Tracy Mosley in this last part. Nice. Oh, smooth over the triple, triple though. She's and she, really got to step here it up she to goes, make up this is percent. where Mosley comes into her element. She's turning a big gear. The powerful, she's packing some power, isn't she? <coughs> Come on, pedal, Tracy. Well, she hasn't sat down yet. She's the only one we've seen not getting, not seeing a saddle. She's over the go, front, go, sprinting go. for the line. Oh. It's going to be tight, you know. 47, 48, she's going to be outside it. Oh. It's a long way of that line from that jump. So she's back, 2.49. Guaranteed a, at least a bronze medal, but it isn't what she was looking for. One more to go. Oh, Sabrina on course. So, Johnny A. Absolutely dominated the 2009 Mountain Bike World Cup. Looking good. With six out of seven wins. wins. You've got to say she's the favourite here this afternoon. She is. But Emmeline Regalo, what a story that'd be. Second time, fifth, seven, excuse me, second five times this season. Yeah. And she certainly lifted a game here this afternoon. That was a wild run. So Johnny A on the mountain. Oh, looking good too. She's deceivingly fast, very smooth, yeah. isn't she? A different style, certainly, to Rago. Trying to stay off the brakes through these turns here. But she'll carry speed. Emily was fucking sprinting here. Yeah, she was. Oh, what was that, Emily? Sorry. Sorry. It's all right, dude. It's only, a big, <clears throat> it's only a big fun. You'll cover it in your salary in about a week. <laughs> 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 I let one out the other day in four cross. It's all right, as long as they're not like forceful. So, Johnny, I, I couldn't find the right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sabrina, Johnny, we're going to see a split time from her any sec. Oh, 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 my God! Emily Rigaud is Please. the 2009 world champion. Holy Toledo! That is amazing. I don't think she knows I'm it gonna, yet. She knows I'm it yet. Run, Stop. Run, run to the finish. Run to the finish. Interview. Get, go. Emily, start jumping up and down. It's yours. She just won the world title, girl. She still doesn't believe it, does she? <laughs> I think she does. Look at her. Come on, girl. Cheer. She's been knocking on the door all season long. Oh, devastated. She's got the World Cup to her name. She won't add the World Championships to it. Oh, oh, she's okay. upset, bless her. Oh, well. Can we get a quick word? Really yeah. quick word, really quick how, word how, you how, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Uh, I don't know. I never won a World Cup and I, I won the World Championship, so I don't know. I can't believe it for the moment. <laughs> but I tried so hard and I was very motivated. Yeah, just I think in my dad and the staff. I would like to do for him because he did so much for me and I'm so happy. And thank you for all the friendship and all my friends help me every time. So I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have got up early and it's the best coverage they've had this year. Well, thanks very much. A lot of that is down to the fact we got a lot of cameras on course. Here so go, here you go, the danger man, the three-time world
world champion twice senior. This man is so calculated. He makes Socrates look like he had learning difficulties. He knows how to win world championships. Fabian Morrell on that single crown four. He's even cut his oh. number down, dude. Look at it. No pads, nothing. Burrell, this is make or break for the man from France. You're right, no pads. Even the yeah. knee brace is gone. God. Burrell is all out for this year, this afternoon. The fastest thinking, fastest talking mountain bike rider on the planet. Can he make it three senior world championships? Look at Fabian's clothes. He's got like a vest France shirt on, which is baggy, but then he's got tight arms on. Yeah. Look at that. It's borderline skin that's, suit. That's gray area. The FFC right will now. have taken it to the limit. <laughs> Lope shit's tight on him, but it's because he's so muscly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that whole... Uh... <laughs> Like at, uh, whatever the rule is, it seems it's like gray there's a area. lot, a lot That's of room to it. for... There's a bit of a grey area there, yeah. I think. Look at Fabian. This is where his bike's going to come into its own. From this section yeah. down, all the way to the finish now, his single crown fork could just give him the advantage to win the World He's Championship. Out, He's out! Oh, my out. God! Oh, my God! This is like a World Championship winning run here! Just he will not lose time on the lower section, you no, wouldn't think! Won't. The fact he's up at that split oh means he's in God. touch. Burrell has developed that Mundraker cycle. Those single crown forks. He took, it, he took it conservative in that turn right there. That's the turn I was talking about. It was a bit blown out. I'm convinced from this point on, he can only increase upon that lead. <laughs> excuse, excuse me. That everybody. was Warner. Yeah. That wasn't, that <laughs> wasn't was, Beaumont or no, myself. It was me. Well, Fabian Burrell, man, look at him. He's got the might of the French Silent Federation behind him. They take these championships pretty seriously, as does that man. There you go. Oh, my there God, go. this is huge from Burrell. He is making that bike work for him, and he will not lose any time on that lower section. He's he even overjumped that triple, triple. He's going so fast. He's got a lockout on that rear suspension now that he's locked out for sure. He will have clicked that. And Burrell, well, he's only got a pedal to the line. And believe me, he's fit. Came back from a destroyed knee around one in South Africa oh, to take a win. Right this guy. This, this reminds is the run me of Italy. This reminds it. me of Italy when he won. He went so fast. This could be the world championship oh, winning round. round. Yeah, but here we go. <laughs> Look at the time. Well, that is um, massive. Unbelievable. That is massive. Oh, my word. Nathan Brinney's dream is over at this point, but Fabian Burrell, what a run. It is Hurricane Hannah, sick Mick. And believe me, if you want to see carnage on course, this might be it. Hannah will go further than anyone to win this thing here this afternoon. I got to give it to Mick. He's definitely got the best looking kit and bike and everything just matching. And this is it. The pressure on Mick Hannah here has been unbelievable. Two, three pedal strokes in out of that start gut. Hopefully he would have forgotten everything and he is into his run. Going for a world championship after 12 months off. Mick Hanna came back with an amazing second place in South Africa. He went and played cricket, of all things. And he has had, well, he's done an amazing season, but he dipped in the middle of it. He said this is his goal to win here on home soil. And look at the crowds going apeshit for him. He's looking great so far. He's hitting everything. He's perfect. He's smooth. Faultless. Faultless from Mick Hanna. You can see his goal has been to win this. And GT's goal is to make a statement here. A custom painted bike, custom kit. They've made a big deal out of this World Championships from Mick Hanna. I'd love just to see, see Mick take deliver. this as well, you know. He's just... Here we go. Even the quiet middle section of the crowd are starting to wave their hands just a little bit for Mick here. They know this is going to be a good run. Yeah, Mick, man, he's just unbelievable. The most intense rider I think I've ever seen. There's no wonder he can't keep it together for a whole season when you ride that focused, you know. But he knows what his goals are, and this is one of them, and he's hard on the pedals there, Mick Hanna. So we're coming up to the split. You know, I just said huge surprise, but is it Fabian Burrell in the hot seat at a world championship? Is it a surprise? No, he's still got the fastest split and time. And Fabian, let's not forget, Fabian made up time from that first he split did. to the second yeah. split. These guys need to be up at this split for well, sure. And, th and this is where his uh, mixed bike is not going to be good compared to Fabian's right. bike. But so. he's an animal and he loves yeah. pain. He will dig deeper. This man has the eyes of a barracuda and the appetite of a shark. And he will dig deeper than anyone on that lower section. <laughs> Come on, Mick. Deliver oh the goods. Oh, he made a... Amazing. Oh, he's up. This Hannah, is the key. There we can go. Can he do it? Let's see who's oh, got the power. He's so loose, man. Come on, Mick. He will 
dig deep here. I can tell you one thing's for certain, he's not going to sit down on this last pedal. This he's holding it, he likes pain. way to the finish. He is going for a gold medal. Here Will he, he get it? Winding it up. He's delivered a faultless run. What's he going to do? Fabian Burrell will be shitting himself in the finish area. I think he's area. got it. I think it's he's got it. It's so oh. close. It's so close. He's done it. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Amazing right there from Hannah. Yes, Mick Hannah. Yes, Mick Hannah. Yes, Mick Hannah. earlier been being close. I, got, I just can't keep Point up with this. One five into the hot seat there. Amazing ride from Mick Hanna. I'm doing breathing exercises okay. just to get ready for it. Hey, Here he is, man. This is your time. It is Steve P. 35 years old, 17 World Cup wins, seven national titles and three times a World Cup champion. He needs just a gold medal here this afternoon to make his career complete. Steve P, man. He got he some is. pedals in there in the rock section. He actually pedals. Oh, he's first fast. Guy to do he didn't it. look like he breaks a lot through there to me. This he looks awesome. Great through the this pedal. looks awesome. Oh, come on, PD. And I can tell you, I saw PD's bike. He's got a semi slick on for the bottom. So if he there makes it go. through all these little uh, washy turns clean. The oh, danger. This area. looks amazing. Yeah, from Steve Pete, he's man. No one carries speed like him. I know from the British team that his timings. He has been up on everything through yep. those rock sections. I'm so nervous, I can barely talk. Although you probably wouldn't think that at the other end. Come hey. on, PD! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, he looks great right there. This looks amazing run oh, from he's Steve. He's I've never seen him so relaxed as he is this be. year. Yeah, and he, he is, is carrying speed. Oh, so PD. far, this is a perfect run. Come on, this Steve. This is his time. This has got to be his time. Come on, Stevie. Sorry, the commentary's just gone to pitch because we just it want just Steve P to win. We Come just want to win. Man to win his world championship. Just getting diving like a 20 year old through that section. It's the only thing he needs to do. Oh, come on, come on. PD. Hold it together, He's Stevie. In great Hold shape. it together. Come on, man. Come on. Yes. yes. Oh, 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 seconds yes. One, one, one and a half six. seconds out. Palmer, if you're watching this. Jesus Christ, he's so smooth, and he won't lose any time on this bottom time section. Now. Come on, Steve, get this pedaling. might be it. Look at Team GB there, shouting for him on this pedaling section. He There'll might be more guys down here. He might be 20 him. seconds away from the world championship. say that was almost perfection. I'm that whole run was... I've been waiting for this I'm for 16 I'm years. I'm a little, bit, I'm a little bit surprised that PD actually lost, lost a little time. bit of time in yeah. that battling section. Okay, back to the screen. Here we go. He put a lot in, though, you know, laps on the top section. He carried awesome speed. But here he is. Here's the danger man, Sam Hill. Oh, my God. Talking about putting timing on the top section, here's Sam Hill. This man has got the psychology of a Claymore mine, and he might just go back here this afternoon in Canberra. He's on that six-inch travel bike. No knee pads and shorts. Needles just spot. He's used a complete different line for the top rock section there. Is it going to be enough to carry more speed? Well, this is where he'll be strong. If he's within a couple of seconds of him, or the, if he's ahead of him within a second of him at the bottom, then he's really in danger. But I don't think he'll be able to outsprint the big guns, do you, on that lower part on flat pedals? Hey, don't forget, he's got that short travel bike, though. Is it going to come to his advantage on that last section? And he's on a short travel bike. He looks quick pedaling there. He looks really quick. I can't even watch the screen, let alone commentate. Rob, oh, you need to come that rock section yeah, right there. Yeah, he... You know, so he was good. fast through there, though, man. No one carried speed like him through there. Amazing. I think even Sam wouldn't uh, deny Steve a world championship win at this point. No, almost everybody wants it. Yeah. 
Oh my oh, god, I just got Sam. a text from Sean Palmer watching down in Argentina. Says he's holding this his is breath. This is important bit, folks. This is important bit. He's One back. Second oh, down. Sam oh, Hill is back. One second down. Oh, well, P wasn't amazingly quick on that lower part, but he might have done enough to take it from Hill, leaving only Minar and Athens under the top of the mountain. We cannot see Steve take another second place here. The, the Sam Hill. style of Sam Hill there, driving a big gear. He always drives a big gear on the flats. <laughs> I'm done in. I'm done in. I'm done in. We're, so Sam Hill. We're in trouble in the commentary booth. He's on but... that. He's on that short travel oh, bike. But he looks scruffy. He looks he tired look to me. Yeah, he likes... Sam Hill looking a little scruffier than we've seen him. Not the best track for Sam Here's Hill. Here's the second split. split. Oh, he's lost more. So P looking good. He's looking good over Sam Hill. P is looking good. Old Opus one cup learn with Sam Hill. Do not <laughs> predict anything. Hill this is, is not. Still possible for Sam Hill just went until he crosses the line. Hill Look is not going to take two seconds out of him on this no. lower He's part. He's got the home country cheering him on on this last straight. So That's all it might take. He is guaranteed a top three, but he has been top three so many times. Look it's at worthless to him. Hey, I know he's on flat pedals, but look at that power down this last straight. He looks really good. No, he won't touch it. He no. last time. Slips away. He's back. He's back, dude. He didn't do too bad oh, on the bottom. Sam. Into fourth. He's he not going to be podium he lost, this year. He lost the whole second just on that pedaling. So Sam Hill's done valiantly on a course that didn't sue him, but it's all about the next two riders. So two PD go, at the moment, 2.30 in the hot seat. Look at the home crowd here going wild for Sam Hill. Christ almighty, Mick Hanna second, 231.69 back. So PD has got a reasonable advantage there. Here's your danger man, Greg, Greg Minari, uh, won on this course last year. See Minari, what he can do. I'm going to call him the mailman from now on because he always delivers. And, P and he definitely the biggest threat, I think, to Steve P this afternoon. Although last year it was Giathan that denied him that world championship title. But Minar looks good through the rocks. Minar always fast and he will be strong on the lower part of this course. He has got a full game, Greg Minar. He can do every single thing. And he was moving through those rocks. Look how smooth he is. I'm interested to see what these split times are going to be because I know Minar has a cut down high roller on the back versus yeah. that semi slick that Petey had. So. Well, he railed that he turn there, Brian. Minar's We've looking good, mate. Minar's got a cut down high roll on the front as well. Well, he's rolling the dice, that's for certain. He knows he's going to have to do something special here. He's hard on the, the pedals seat. there. Minar, the danger man, he's had an absolutely awesome season this year. Three wins this season. Again, it's a long shot on the camera here, but you can see just how much speed Greg's carrying through there. Perfection. <laughs> oh, just I am going to have a cardiac arrest. This split time is going to be vital. I, uh... It's just too much, man. Wait, I just almost, can't yeah. even. I can't even watch. You can, and you will. I'm sorry to be impartial, but it's a split time. He's, he's back. back. He's back. He's oh. back. He's back. Oh my God. He's 1.15 back. <laughs> Thank God I've got a suspension chair. I have got through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Minar is oh. back. You know what? I had a feeling about today. I've never seen Steve so relaxed up to a world championship. Although he did deny a beer last night, which was weird. <laughs> Come on, Minar. Okay, let's stay focused. This is only what he's only 1.1 back yeah, let's, on Steve. Let's not forget we're commentating. If, if anyone's going to pull this back, Greg Minar can. Yeah. We know that as a fact. Yeah. He's one of the fittest guys and on the Pete World Cup. And he wasn't amazingly quick on that pedaling, was no, he? He lost, he a, lost little a little bit of time. He's 1.22 back. But so Minar, here we go, right here. It's going to come is down to this pedaling section. This is it. As Who predicted. will take the pain? Who will just dig the deepest? Oh, Minar. Minar looking fast there, man. Look at him in that big gear. Uh, I know right. both those guys had the same exact gearing, so. I can barely watch, This Brian. is going to be so, so close. Oh, this God, is for the man. World Championship title. Everything is Greg at stake is here. Pretty good right here, but I don't know. Not One much support from the crowd there for Greg. Yeah, it's a long way. Oh, he's looking he's good. Tired. He's tired. He's, no, he's going to be so close. I think he's going to do it. No, he's no, not. not. No, he's not. to go. G. Atherton, just the same as in 2008. Yeah. It's a rerun. What is going to happen here? It is the reigning world champion. I think we're safe to say everyone around the world is on the edge of their seats at the moment. G. Atherton hasn't had the best season, but he has been there and thereabouts at every round this year. And you know what? 
He is a real danger. You know what? G's on a special world championship bike here. Super light tubing, no adjustability, air shocks with lockout. This is a world championship bike if ever there was one. Can G deliver on the bike that's been provided for him? He's been top five in nearly every round. But G Athen, under all that pressure last year, he turned into a diamond. Will there be another pot of gold waiting for him at the end of those rainbow stripes here this afternoon? You know, it's one of the rarest things to win back-to-back -back world championships. You know, is G going to break the mould here? It's been the case it's almost, so often. It's almost impossible, but he's, he's fast on the edge. He's on the edge yeah. G man oh, with a quick dab there. But it doesn't matter. G will be all out. He's got nothing to lose here. Look at the wind blowing there. Yeah, the wind's up, but Athen, super fit, super strong, he's and super up. fast. G. Athen's trainer, Darren from Red Bull, has been staying with us again all week, and he's been putting these guys through hell all week. G is in the shape of his life. Is it going to be Steve Pete's day? There is one man left who can deny him of that this world championship. This is the This is going to give us the indication. Just a few seconds to we go are, to the first split We're point. about to find out, ladies Here and gentlemen. Go, folks. Here's the he's split. Down. He's Again, done it. Just he's like done it. Let's not he's discount done it. G. Please Atherton. won't jump, man. He ain't going to take two seconds back. No disrespect to G. I'm sure he won't mind me getting behind Steve. 16 years. Four times second. It's all he needed. Looking at this next split. I if can't this next split's good. If it's next it's no split, one it's good. Oh my god, I've even broke my mic. Hold on, hold on, folks. Here we go. This is the important one. Has he pulled any time? No. Oh, no. He's he's fast. Fast. predicted would never come is here folks it's here steve p has got this in the bag it's gonna take a miracle at this point it's, it's gonna, gonna take it. a miracle thanks scott for holding it all i'm trying to pull this together folks but i'm done <laughs> we're on the show now who are not happy for no. Steve P today. No, no you're right, bro. The whole fire. world is waiting for this. Look at that. Look. Long overdue. There's going to be some tears from grown men in that finish area. I'm close. There are going to be some tears. There you go. Oh, oh, yeah, boy. Oh, it's going to be a rough one in that. Hold on. I mentioned tears. Rob Warner's in bits. No, I'm all right. Oh. I'm going to go see him. All right. Everyone. I'll, I'll hold this together. You've just watched history. You've just watched where everyone wanted to see. It was historic. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to go see Steve right now. Finally, Steve, finally you did it. How does it feel? Oh, it feels unreal. It's definitely unsunk in yet, but all those years trying, uh, I don't know. It's just like caps it all. It's absolutely unreal. Amazing, mate, wasn't it? Absolutely amazing, yeah.
Is it sunk in? No. I don't think it has now. I think I keep looking at my phone, getting texts from friends at home. It's been on radio one at home. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had the birds on, I don't know, I had the birds on the way on that across and she's like, it's all over radio one. Shit. I mean, yeah, it's unreal. when I hear shit like that, like, like wells me up and seeing all the texts from home. You've had so many, you've been so close so many times, Steve, you know, you've won everything, man, and then at 35, you've come through. 35, mate, doing for the old boys. And I think, you know, you just, to me, I, I've known you a long time, but you seemed like more relaxed about it this year than I've ever seen you. Yeah, I got pretty worked up this morning because I knew, I knew I could do pretty good. But don't worry. Maybe you do get more relaxed the older you get. I don't know, I just felt felt good on the track all week. I knew I had to hammer the top of the track. Yeah. Which I did. You and, weren't as, uh, like, people took some time out of you on the bottom, which surprised me, but I think you've given your all, haven't no, I, 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 Yeah, I gave it my all. I don't think I trained the best for the bottom of this track. I was really thinking about it. I just like riding my bike and enjoy riding my bike. But you look at the splits, I'm first, first, first little finish, so. We can't, can't do a lot more, mate. Yeah. I know you had your kids' names on your gloves, eh? Yeah. You're nice. And whenever they yeah. rub it, they mean so much to me, yeah. You're going to be able to say to them, Steve Pete, world champ, man. My dad is world champ. It's pretty cool. We better stop it there. We're going to end up. <laughs> I don't know. Fucking feel me crying if you want. I don't. I don't know. Let's cry, well, I Fuck, I knew you had it in you, you fucker. Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, to get it out, wasn't it? Yeah. 16 years back, wasn't it? Since the first time? 93. You can chill out now. You should just retire. <laughs> gonna carry on? It's gonna feel good. It just left me away. <laughs> Where's it gone? Someone nicked it. It's catching me, alright. Dude, we're just gonna leave it there because I am shaking. Done. Well done. I'm laughing at some of that. What do you want people to call you now? That's what yeah. someone said to me. I was like, well, fuck, you, people usually call me Steve P or they call me P A, but from now on they can call me World Champion. Fucking right. Pretty, pretty good feeling. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. World Champ. Nothing more to say. World Champ. <laughs> what a mate. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm All of you are Got this from Glenn Jacobs this morning. He gave it to me and said, I think he gave one to Lopes a long time ago when Lopes won the World Championship. And he gave me one. And he just gave it me just for fun. But I put it in my race pants and kept it in my pocket. And that could have been the key. He's the best for giving it to you. I'm gonna make sure next year I've got to sit up and play. Go into it. Just put a bucket of it. I'm only gonna have one of them, a tin of it. I don't know what to say. He's done it. Yeah. It's like, done, done. Doesn't matter what he does now, he's done it. He's the best. You know, it was amazing.